Hi again guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, an extra special welcome to you. I'm Lisa. I'm one half of the twins, Joe and Lisa. We have a blog here on this beautiful space here on YouTube and we absolutely love it. Now this week we want to share with you what we do to do food prep, right? What we, how we prepare for our meals for the week. And especially now that there are fewer of us in this home now. So I'm about to have my shower, get ready for the day, and the grocery is coming any minute now, so I've, I've got a rush. So see you soon. Enjoy the, this week's vlog, and please stay right here till the end. Hi guys, and welcome back. So, we have tried to use up all that we have um, in the cupboards, in the pantry. pantry, in the fridge, in the freezer since the girl went, girls went off to university. Um, but we've just now made our first order from two supermarkets because one had most of the things that we wanted but didn't have some other stuff. So we were able to get all this from two supermarkets. So, eggs. And we do have a lot of eggs and we're planning to um, use up more eggs in our diet now for snacks instead of some of the things we usually had. We've got mixed grapes, apples, and I think there's another set. So pink lady apples and other apples as well. And then nectarines, coconut chunks, which is another snack item. A big melon, oranges, pears, onion, which is not... <laughs> fruit, <laughs> bananas, papo or papaya, cabbage, red onions, celery, we use celery a lot, not to eat raw or uncooked, um, carrots and then mixed salad leaves and cucumber. So those are most of the veg and peppers as well. Most are the veg, those are all the veg and fruits that we have. And now these are the next lot. So we have coffee mate, coffee creamer. Um, that we use as milk, use instead of milk um, for hot chocolate and so on. Then there's Bisto cheese um, sauce mix, Devon custard, tuna, tomato ketchup, um, barbecue sauce, patties, Jamaican patties or Jamaican like um, lamb ones, and then jerk chicken ones. We've got two whole chicken and that's because we couldn't get any at one of the supermarkets so we tried the other one and then we have chicken thighs we got two packs of lean diced beef we ordered three but only two came we're going to do our own corned beef with that so we're going to salt it and season it ourselves then there's sweet potatoes regular potatoes white potatoes there's avocado two of those and then tortilla wraps. Now in terms of drinks, we've had two, three orange juice, three apple juices, one, this is the first time we're going to try this one. It's Vimto, no added sugar, real fruit squash, and it's raspberry, orange, and passion fruit flavor. So I'm looking forward to that. We like a little fizzy every now and again, so diet lemonade. And we also bought spring water sparkling spring water because we can put just a little bit of squash in there and you get a fizzy drink without all the calories because we're doing a reduced calorie diet on this side mostly pantry items now or fridge um so we've got fabric softener this is the one that we use so comfort you've got a shower gel which is the first time we're going to try that one as well i can't believe it's not butter we've got a wholemeal bread Salt fish, salted cod, cod fillet, uh, more coffee made creamer, self raising flour, and I thought I'd ordered plain, but there's none. Red kidney beans, um, this snack, sour cream and onion, which I bought just for the container because I want to try a little craft with it. Then we have hot dog sausages in a can, pineapple slices, more kidney beans, evaporated milk, corned beef for a quick meal. And then Grace cock soup mix, Grace pumpkin soup mix, and more cock soup. Then there's creamed coconut powder, creamed coconut, the solid one, and then cayenne chili pepper, 
chives, mixed herbs, and multivitamins. Bindi is another word for okra. So we use okra in our dishes a lot. And also yogurt for breakfast with fruits. So this is mango papaya and passion fruit one. And this is a cherry one. This is frozen white fish fillet that we use for fish pies or just to steam or fry on their own. And then a sweetener, tablets, um, frankfurters, chicken frankfurters. And then I'm going to try for the first time this Polish cheese. So sliced cheese from Poland. So that's our grocery haul. We're going to put those away now, clean them up first. And then we're going to see how long these last with just the two of us. See you later. So we've just finished the big job of sorting and packing everything away. Mostly everything, but there are some things that we prepare on a weekly or um, two weekly basis. Um, so I'm going to share some of those with you now. So this, these are fruits and coconut um, pieces. pieces. And I'm going to use these to cut them up and then put them in, well, all of them first in this large bowl. Then they're going to go into these small containers that will go into the fridge so that we can just pick up a snack pack. Just a snack of fruits any time in the day that we want to. And then this is bindi or okra. We, it's called, we always buy this large bag and then we decant them into smaller plastic bags and then freeze them so that it's just easier, convenient to take a one pack from the freezer to use in any meal. And then these are the ingredients that we use for our green seasoning mix. So we're going to use this in it for the first time, which is rosemary. This oh is garden. this is um, celery. celery from our garden. So rosemary and celery from our garden. Then we're going to be using ginger in it as well. Onion, pimento, whole pimento seeds and Celery, from, celery the from the fridge. The celery that we had before. So that's going to be made into our green seasoning mix that we can put into soups, into curries, into chicken, anything. Now these are the meat. So we don't often use beef. We don't have a lot of beef in our diet. Perhaps maybe six times maximum for the year. But we bought these so that we can salt them. So I'm going to show you that process as well. Salt them so they last much longer. They'll have a nice, rich, intense flavor that we'll use for pea soup or red peas, stew peas, stew peas, yeah. And then two chickens that we got, we're going to portion them, clean them, package them separately. So fried bits, bits for soup, you know the drill, curry. curry and so on. And then this is chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs. We're going to season those, clean them, season them for um, jerk, we think, we think at this Oven point. Jerk oven jerk yeah so watch here's a little pro tip guys if your chopping board is always running away from you when it's on the counter just put a clean cloth underneath the chopping board how beautiful is that so the bits that we don't want the bits that we want the bits we want the bits we want the bits we want so I'll do all the apples this way and cut each one into about three pieces. Right, guys, as you know, apples go brown when exposed to air, but a little lemon juice, just a little bit sprinkled over them, will make them not affected and not go brown. And then these are the grapes that I'm going to be cutting. The smaller ones will go in whole and then the big ones will be cut in half. Come back here. <laughs> That's it. So the grapes are done. So it's looking beautiful now. The array of colors will make it more interesting to eat. And then chunks of coconut will go in. Because you know what? Sometimes when you're snacking, it's really something that lasts and lasts and lasts. And in your mouth you want. And it's crunchy. So that's why we're adding coconut to ours. It's not typical to have coconut in a fruit salad, but we're doing this specially for us because we know what we like. 
who likes coconut? Let us know in the comments. I think yeah. this is a good salad and would you add coconut to yours? I love, love, love coconuts. Here now are the finished fruit packs so with grapes apples coconut bits nectarine. and nectarine and then that little dash of lemon juice that's all we need to just sit down and have a nice cool refreshing healthy snack so now they'll go in the fridge they'll stay chilled until we need them What I'm doing now is to make the spice blend or seasoning mix. Last thing to go in, the onion, and then we're good. We have some extra um, celery, but we'll blend it for a bit first and then put the rest of the celery in and then continue blending. Guys, in the list of ingredients, I had forgotten to tell you about scotch bonnet pepper and lemon or lime or vinegar which helps to preserve the spice mix the season mix and also what was the last thing i added oil and then oil and that allows it to blend <laughs> that's that nice spice spicy blend mix done and here is the spice mix with just some of the ingredients that I used. So now we're on to preparing the meats. So we're starting with this chicken and we're going to portion it, then clean it, and then bag and put away. So we're going to have fry bits. The breast is going to be cut off and cut up separately for any dish Bonus. that needs. Yeah, boneless parts and perhaps we'll save those for when the girls come back because we don't particularly like boneless meat So that's it. I'm going to show you once it's prepped and seasoned and bagged Here now is the chicken complete. We still have the beef left to go. So that's all boneless breast pieces and that's the back of the chicken to make like soup and stews and the chest bit, you know after you cut the flesh off and then these are the chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs as well. And then these are the majority, the major part of the chicken for frying or brown stew. So we're going to put these away now. After they're seasoned. Yeah, we're going to season them first. Yeah, right? Yeah. Season them first, bag them up, put them away. Last one, so all the chicken now sorted. Time now to cure this beef. I use whole pimento. I use this salt and seasoning mix, a Mediterranean mix, and then table salt, and that's it along with the beef. I'll need a spoon to mix it all together, and then the pimento seeds I'll put in paper towel, then put it in a bag and crush it.
So it's a new day and I'm going to be continuing with meal prep, but this time it's real medicinal prep. So this is what we do like every other week. We make a batch of this. It's called Nature's Penicillin. And to make it, I need cayenne pepper. We also put in lemon, a whole lemon, one onion, one orange, and three cloves of garlic. It's really, really good. I can tell you from experience, even if you feel like the cold is coming on and you start taking it, it absolutely goes away. So I can tell you by first-hand experience that this does work. Um, the only time I've ever had a cold since I've learned of this is if I um, leave it too long, if I haven't used it in a long while and the cold is coming on and I don't get to make a, a batch and use it, then I definitely will have a cold. But other than that, it is very, very good. done here now is a meal made from those same ingredients that we prepared so cheesy roast potatoes a young fresh green salad and chicken done in the oven a lovely meal for two so now i'm going to be making an easy go-to snack which i hope well i know is going to be much healthier than the ones that we usually have so for this I'll need this Polish cheese, sliced cheese that I bought recently, chicken frankfurters, we really love this one, and then we're going to use this spice mix, Mediterranean spice mix, which is basically salt, pepper, I don't know what else is in there, some flax seed, which I'm going to add for extra crunch and flavor, this balsamic vinegar and olive oil. <coughs> so let's go, these peppers and carrots as well.
So now I'm going to cut the peppers, um, then cut them lengthwise. And then I'm going to be removing the seeds and the inner white bits from the peppers. And then this is going to make the base for what I call my veggie sausage roll. <laughs> so not really a sausage roll, not really a hot dog, but much healthier. So tell us what you think, especially about this idea. And what I like especially about it is that it, we were able to use it both hot and cold. So if we wanted a quick snack, we were able to just take one from this container that I'm placing it now in. And we're not really cold food people. We prefer to have food either hot or warm. So we were able to um, take one or two out and put it on the griddle on the stovetop, warm it through allow the, the cheese to melt and just solidify the flavors together and it was really really delicious and filling. and filling yes i must add it was quite filling so there was no need for any carb and yet we had a filling meal because we really tried to have it as a snack but it was really filling as if it were a meal itself so that's one thing that i really love about this quick healthy snack and I'm so happy I made it. Now I'm going to be preparing some deviled eggs for a quick healthy snack as well. So I'll need eggs, I'll need the olive oil from here. I will not need flax seeds so go away. <laughs> I'll need the spice mix and then I'll also use spicy mayo instead of regular mayo and that's because we love spice. So the first thing to do is to put the eggs to boil. Once they have boiled I don't need to tell you how to boil an egg, do I? Then you soak them in cold water, very cold water, for at least five minutes. Then take the shells off, put them all together on a plate or platter, whatever you choose. And then you need to cut them, each egg, in half. Lengthwise. Lengthwise. Then remove the yolk from the eggs. Put all the yolks together in one bowl and then add the salt and pepper and the mayo or whatever other liquid ingredient you're going to be using. And then you just need to blend it all together. Leave the, yolk, the whites there, the solid whites, leave them there. Once you've blended everything together, then use a teaspoon to add the mixture back to the whites. And it makes for a nice delicious snack the only thing that we added after the yolks were put back into the white was some chives which added an extra kick but it's a really nice healthy snack that we were able to make beforehand put in the fridge and then just grab one or two one can fit in your mouth well i suppose two could fit but it was a nice healthy snack anyway and we'd like your thoughts on deviled eggs some people use a piping bag to put it back in the in the egg but we thought a spoon was more efficient and less messy thank you so much guys for staying with us this week as we showed you a little bit of our food prep and plan for the week we hope that you are inspired by something that you've seen and we ask that you subscribe to our channel if this is content that you do like and if you do like it, then I'm sure that others would like it too. So please remember to share this content with others. Thank you again and see you next week in another Come Share Something With Us week. Not sure yet what it will be, but we will always share a snippet of our week with you. Goodbye.